the Canon League second division promotion candidates by visiting Oxford United, current leaders for their match against Leeds United. And so far, Leeds' mixture of well-ripened talent and immature promise has not borne fruit completely, but Oxford United have followed success with success and goals with yet more goals. Your commentator, John Motson. John Aldridge, with 14 goals this season, is the second division's top scorer. And his partner, Billy Hamilton, is just one behind with 13. And their team, Oxford, have in fact scored 163 goals since the start of last season and have lost just two of their last 34 league games. The fact that six players are ever present this season and a further three have missed just five matches between them suggests a settled side is Oxford's recipe. They're unchanged today. And so to a Leeds who have seven players on that team sheet aged 22 or under. By contrast, goalkeeper David Harvey is 36 and number 10 Peter Lorimer is 38 next month. Lorimer made his league debut for Leeds in 1962, the year that Oxford were elected to the Football League in place of Accrington Stanley. The referee this afternoon is John Mools from Essex. This is the first ever league meeting between Oxford United and Leeds United. But last season in the Milk Cup, Leeds lost 4-1 here after a draw at Ellen Road. Pitch is obviously very heavy and will cut up after all the rain we've had. Here's Langen. Brown, Hebbard. It's a good effort by Hebbard. Oh, he's hit the post. That was a brilliant attempt. And still they press. Langen. Played by Sellers. Here's Lorimer. Wright's in the centre, Rich is coming in now as well. Gray. Ritchie. Useful ball by Ritchie and... Lorimer within a yard further forward, Leeds might well have scored from Ritchie's cross. and Wright is onside here and he slipped the goalkeeper it's Tommy Wright and Ritchie off the line by Langen I think well Oxford were absolutely caught Tommy Wright was onside he got past Steve Hardwick he tucked it in Ritchie with the attempt not very much weight on the ball and David Langen in the right place at the right time to save Oxford. Forward there by Gray. The referee looked to the linesman. There was no flag. This is Sellers. Oh, and Ritchie got the rebound. And here's a chance for Wright. It's a goal for Leeds. Oxford were victims there of their own mistake. The ball was carelessly given away. Andy Ritchie picked it up, pushed it through to Tommy Wright, and he puts Leeds into the lead. Tommy Wright, the top scorer, but he's been going through a lead spell recently. In recent games, hadn't scored in the last nine, but he was very sure of the way he pushed that past Steve Hardwick to put Leeds in front. And a mistake, really, by David Langen.
Cross looking for Hamilton. Cross came from uh, John Truick there. Gray. Right to the left, Ritchie on the other side. That's for right. It's a good ball too. And here's Lorimer. 2-0 to Leeds. And the teenager made it for the veteran. Ray got Tommy Wright going down the left. And the 18-year-old who scored the first goal crossed that beautifully. Hardwick couldn't cut it out properly. And in came Lorimer to score the second for Leeds. Leeds all-time record scorer, nearly 38, but still deadly, especially from that range. Again, a good swift break by Leeds United. Accurate passing, plenty of pace, and in the end, a clinical finish. And the Leeds fans behind the left-hand goal really enjoying themselves. State by Hamilton has put Sheridan in and it's got uh, Leeds moving on their left with Gary Hansen and well, that's come off Brock and McDonald has to clear Hebbard Hamilton and now Rhodes Brown good little chip ball that Hebbard oh no Leeds are getting there first Rhodes Brown Corner off Irwin. Five minutes left in the first half, and Oxford dearly in need of a goal. Oh, and it's got in! Briggs got there! Against his hometown club, the scorer is Gary Briggs. Beautiful header. Kevin Brock's corner well delivered. As Jim Smith says on corners, it's all about the quality of the ball in. That was a good one, and Gary Briggs stumped his header past Harvey. So the Oxford centre half leads Bourne, puts his side back in the match at 2 1. And Brock, the man who supplied the corner. And a robustuous first half here with an element of surprise. Little Tommy Wright, when you see him off the field, you feel he should still be in schoolboy football. He's almost a waif and stray in appearance, but he certainly popped up in the Oxford defence to score and then to make one for Lorimer. Shotton will take the blame for the first goal, but then his defensive partner, Gary Briggs, got one back with his first of the season to make the half-time score. Oxford 1, Leeds 2.